If you click on this video, I'm sure you want to know how to translate in Excel. Well, let's not waste time, let's go and do it together. Let's start with the translate feature on the review in Excel and if you don't see it, it means your Excel version is old. But don't worry, I got your back because there is a second methodology that will work with all versions of Excel. So let's try it out. We click on translate, you'll get this window. We need to select our text, so this is the text. You will get it here, English is automatically detected. We go down, we can translate to French or any other language. This is the result. So if you want to copy paste it, I just selected it, Control C to copy. And if you go to paste it, you're gonna get a nasty surprise. So I'm just gonna do Control V and boom, you get the data horizontally. I want it vertically, so what to do? Let me show you, Control Z. We're just gonna double click on this cell, you get the cursor here. Control V, you get the data in the right way. However, if you press enter, it's not gonna work. So what to do in this case? I have to select my data so I can select it like this manually or Control A. Next, we're gonna cut it. So Control X, we click on another cell, we come back to our cell and we do Control V. There you go, you get it. Now, as you have seen, this is super manual, not nice. Let me show you the other way. The other way is using a VBA function that I wrote, it's a translate function. Now note that Excel will have a translate function embedded in the future. Now it's only available for a few users. So what to do to solve your problem now? Well, let me show you how the function works and then I will tell you how you can use it in your own workbooks. So how does it work? The function is called translate. So here I'm just gonna remove everything and I'm gonna use equal translate. As you can see, this is the function, double click. It's like a normal function in Excel. I need first to select my text. So this is my text, comma. Now, what is the main language we have here? It's English. So we just put EN in double quotations. You're gonna ask me, where did you get this? I'm gonna show you in a bit, comma. Let's assume we want to translate it to Italian. So IT in double quotations, close parenthesis. There you go, it's translated and you can double click and everything else will get translated. Now, how did I get all this? You can see that here I have the list of languages. For example, Italian is IT. Now you can download this workbook and use it as is. First, you have the table and two, you can use the formula. Or if you want in a bit, I'm gonna show you how you can take this VBA macro and put it in your own workbook. So let's come back. We have seen that this is Italian. What we can do if we want to make it fancy, is just click here, we're gonna do data, data validation. Here we have a list and we're gonna select the source. So the source is all my languages. Here you can select the languages. Let's press OK. We come back. For example, we want French or German. Let's do French. This is French. We will need a VLOOKUP. So equal VLOOKUP, open parenthesis. My lookup value is French. My table array is this table. And then I want the second column to get the abbreviation and false to get an exact match. Press enter, this is FR. We come here and we can use it as a parameter in our function. So let's remove this and take this as a parameter. Let's use F4 to fix it, press enter. So here it's translated to French. Double click, it will translate everything. Now, for example, we can select German. This is German and you can get everything in German. Now, it will also work for a sentence. For example, I ate an apple. You can see this is the translation. Now, let's look at this macro. You can go to the developer tab. If you don't have it, just go to file. Don't worry. Search for options. Here it is. And under options, you have customize ribbon. Under customize ribbon, you can go, you have developer, you need to click on it and press OK. Now let's go to developer, we have Visual Basic and we can go to this module. So for example, if it goes here, you can double click on the module and you get the sub. This sub, what does it do? Basically, I'm using Google Translate. I am sending it your text, the from language, the to language, getting the result, which is the response and cleaning it up. Now, what you could do is just use this workbook and download it as simple as that. The link is in the description or 
you can just come to this workbook and copy this. So control C, you need to create a module in your own workbook. So imagine that, for example, let's open a new Excel sheet, control N. This is called book one. You can see it up. Let's go back to visual basic. You have here book one. You can right click insert module. This is your module module one and you paste it here. Now, if I go to book one and I do equal translate, let's do Apple from English to FR for French, press enter and it works.